This ethnicity is from a drag queen who's very muscular in that she wants to know how to tailor or custom make her clothing to hide the fact that she's muscular. Well, I don't know how to tell you to contour your outfits or make them, but I will say, obviously, no strapless, no spaghetti straps, and no backless. Given. Well, you're going to have to start doing costumes that include sleeves and shoulders um, in your wardrobe. And there's a lot of even evening gowns that are long sleeve evening gowns. This shouldn't be an issue for you. There's even a drag queen in South Beach or in, in Miami hitting the gym real hard and, and taking steroids. And her body is looking amazing. And I thought she quit drag, you know, because her jaw got real wide and she's looking really masculine. But she hasn't quit drag. In fact, she's still doing drag. However, she will, she, you know, realizes that her body is changing. And she's wearing wigs that, you know, hide her jaw or, or you know, come down. And, you know, you have to start contouring your face a little differently to hide your, your, um, your square jaw. But obviously with your body, you're going to have to hide, you know, your extremely muscular figure. The thing is, when you are a man and you are becoming a woman on stage, you have all kinds of hurdles to overcome. You know, why don't you start working on a character or a look that is kind of like China, the WWF wrestler? Do like a Wonder Woman character or Xena the warrior princess or do something like She-Ra the princess or you know, do a girl power thing. But as a general rule, I would start covering up your muscles and to look more feminine on stage. And I don't, I'm not that good of a costume designer to tell you what exactly you need to do, only that you need to cover yourself. I hope I could help. Anyways, ask Misty, and uh, hopefully I can help you again. Alright, bye-bye.